What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.4 developer beta 3. So this came just a little over one week after the release of beta 2. So of course in this video, we're gonna talk about everything that's new. We're gonna talk about the performance, battery life, bug fixes, all that fun stuff. Now, before we get started, let me know what you guys think about this layout. Do you like the look of this overhead shot? I am also shooting this in 4K. My last video on the iOS 13 leaks, which you definitely wanna see that if you didn't already, that video is up in the cards. That was my first ever 4K upload here on the channel channel so let me know what you guys think about the quality of this video or if you'd change anything i'm really open to any suggestions but anyways you can see here ios 12.4 developer beta 3 came in at 279.5 megabytes here on my iphone 10r which did of course come from beta 2 and if we go ahead over to our settings go to general about you can see the build number once we click on 12.4 16g 5038d and we do have a long build number so i'm guessing we will have at least a couple more betas of ios 12.4 before the official release. So it's looking like we're gonna have iOS 13 and iOS 12.4 betas going at the same time come next week because of course iOS 13 beta one is expected to be released on the third. So anyways, let's talk about the changes here in iOS 12.4 beta three. And the first one's gonna be here in the about settings. You can see we do have a new modem firmware update for 2018 iPhone. So it's at 1.06. 0.02, which on beta two, it was 1.06.01. So just another small improvement there to the modem firmware to hopefully help you guys out who are having issues with your cell connectivity. Now, aside from that modem firmware update, we do also have a new icon for the feedback application. So this is the first time I've seen a redesign of the feedback application in a long time, maybe ever. So we do now have a more squared off icon there for feedback. It definitely looks a lot more modern and a lot more clean. Uh, definitely looks like something you'd maybe see in iOS 13. So I'm really liking the new feedback application there. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be the same one that we see actually with iOS 13. So hopefully some of the icons in iOS 13 also look like that. I mean, we could change like the messages to that more square look, even the mail application. So this could be an indication as to what's coming in iOS 13, and that would be really nice. But aside from the modem firmware update and the feedback application getting a new redesigned icon, there's really nothing else changed here in beta three as expected. I mean, we're on a point update literally a week away from the first beta of iOS 13. So obviously Apple's not gonna really include any kind of major features or any kind of settings changes or anything like that this late into the game of iOS 12. So those are the only new things. I'm actually surprised to see the icon change even here in this beta. But like I said, it's probably just to prepare for iOS 13 because that's probably how the iOS 13 feedback application is going to look. But as far as battery life, battery life has actually been good for me here on my iPhone 10R running on iOS 12.4 beta two. I would average around six and a half hours of screen on and off time combined. And I would always go to bed with about 20% battery remaining. I do think the battery life is pretty much the exact same as iOS 12.3 and iOS 12.3.1. So you're not gonna get any kind of update here with iOS 12.4 in terms of battery life. Now, when it comes to performance, this is actually an area where I think iOS 12.4 has definitely improved over something like iOS 12.3.1, which I do have here on my iPhone XS Max and also my iPad Pro. They're both running iOS 12.3.1 right now. And I think that iOS 12.4 is actually a little bit smoother and a little bit quicker than iOS 12.3.1, which is surprising. And in the first beta, I actually thought it was the placebo effect. I didn't really think it was as fast as people were saying. Then the second beta came and I started thinking, okay, you know, I think it actually is faster. And now with beta three, after comparing it once again, I definitely think that iOS 12.4 is just a little bit smoother, just a little bit quicker than iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1. You mainly notice it with the animations, the control center even pops up a little bit quicker. The share sheet pops up a little bit quicker, uh, but it's just overall, you just feel it. It's just fluid. It's more fluid when you scroll like on web pages and games, pretty much everything just feels a little bit faster on iOS 12.4. And it's the same with beta three. Now is beta three is the same performance as beta two. And I'm just saying that I noticed the difference in beta two. Now, as far as connectivity goes, this is actually where I had an issue with iOS 12.4. So LTE and Bluetooth are just fine on iOS 12.4, just like they are on 12.3 and 12.3.1. But I have been having issues with my Wi-Fi here on iOS 12.4. And it's also been happening to me on iOS 12.3.1. And I'm gonna cover this more in depth in my iOS 12.3.1 follow-up video probably coming tomorrow. But I've been noticing how my Wi-Fi sometimes will just not even connect to the Wi-Fi network that I'm trying to connect to. I'd literally have to turn Wi-Fi off, back on, and that wouldn't work. Airplane mode on and off wouldn't work. It would take a full reboot to actually get my Wi-Fi to connect. And this isn't, you know, every time. This is just very sporadically it would happen. You know, I think it happened like twice 
on beta 2 days apart but it is still really annoying that i do have these wi-fi issues still this deep into ios 12. so let me know if you guys have experienced that at all down in the comment section below but aside from that everything else has been running really good here on ios 12.4 beta 2 is fine 12.3 is probably going to be the exact same as beta 2. i would assume we're just going to fix up some bugs some back-end bugs some you know security enhancements and things like that throughout the rest of ios 12.4 so yeah that's pretty much it for ios 12.4 beta 3. let me know what you guys think about this this beta in the comment section below let me know if you've updated to it or not and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it again let me know about the quality of this video if you liked it it is different for me i am still getting used to it i will obviously make some changes with time as well but if you guys are excited for ios 13 definitely check out my ios 13 video that i just posted about an hour ago as of recording this and uh you definitely don't want to miss it dark mode leaked some applications from ios 13 leaked you definitely want to check it out but anyways guys thanks for watching the video and i'll see you soon